Hello, it's time for Tips and Tricks Tuesday again. This is Lynn Allen, and I'm technically on vacation. But, of course, I wanted to make sure that you had a tip to help you through the week. Not everybody gets to be on vacation, right? So today, I'm going to talk about something that I bet you many of you can relate to. If you've ever had somebody send you a drawing where you weren't too sure what their settings were, were at or what their scale factors they were using, or maybe you yourself worked on a drawing and can't remember what you set it to, and you are in a situation where you would like to create another dimension with the same scale factor, the same size of everything, right, as this one, for example, that I have on the screen. You need to figure out what the dim scale factor is, right? So let's let's see, how would I go about finding out what the dim scale factor is? I could select this dimension, I could go into the list command. Hmm, no, not in there, that's not going to work, right? I can go into properties, you can do a right click and go into properties, or you can just, in my case, I have it anchored over the left-hand side of the screen. Now, a first glimpse would lead you to believe it's not here, right? But I can promise you, it is here. You just have to figure out where it is. Oh, not in there, it's not in there. You will find that the dim scale factor, though it may not be obvious, is underneath fit. Who knew, right? I'm going to move my cursor over here, and you'll see there's the option of dim scale. Let's scoot that a little bit, you can see it. Dim scale overall. It happens to be set to 30. So now I know I can reset the dim scale factor to 30 to draw any of the rest of my dimensions, right? Pretty, pretty cool. So that is one way of going about doing it. Now, for those of you who happen to be inside of AutoCAD 2009, there is a bit of a shortcut. You can use quick properties. You'll have to set a couple of things up yourself, but let's take a look at this. I go into quick properties. I'm going to go ahead and select this dimension. Hmm, it's still no, no information about the dim scale factor. Well, one great feature about quick properties is that you can customize it, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to come into this is the CUI command, which is a bit intimidating. Just ignore all this scary stuff on the left. It's a big dialog box, but it's actually really easy to work in, especially for what we're going to do. So here you'll see for my rotated dimension on here, you will see it's, it's, it's telling me what information I currently have set up to display in quick properties. No problem, we're going to go all the way down to fit and we're going to say I'd like you to also show me the dim scale factor. Now you'll probably have to do this for all of the different dimension types. There's no way to set it up to just automatically show you the dim scale for all of the different types of dimensions. Once again, you would just go through them. It's only going to take you like two minutes tops, so it's not that big of a deal. When you have it all set up, Hit an OK. That'll save that. And you will see that now, whenever I select a dimension, you will see that automatically when I go into quick properties, there is my dim scale factor. So if this is one of those things that you find yourself asking a lot to the different objects in your drawing, definitely put it into quick properties. So I, I hope that you found this useful. I hope that this will give you a chance to save a little bit of time off of your uh, work week. And I look forward to chatting with you next Tuesday.